Hello and welcome to a new episode of JRPG Historia Future Perfect. We are headed to the Smarsh Cave. <laughs> I'm Tom Captain Evan, joined as always by Space Quartermaster Ryan. I think I already know what the title of this episode's gonna be. <laughs> and as sometimes by virtual stowaway Clint Prentice. Smarsh, 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 smarsh. Southwest, you say? Yeah, you should like enter a smarsh. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a thing. Do you mean a marsh? Yes. Yep. Okay. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Don't hit the weakest people. Jesus! <laughs> oh, Jesus is not a weak it. person. Evan. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I don't appreciate this. Concentrate fire on the enemy. Lightning. What level are you at? Uh, Not enough, probably. <laughs> That's the sense I'm getting from this fight. I am at not enough level. What I'm looking at here says that you should be around 7 to 9. Alright then. I'll keep that in mind when I can next check on my level. Poor Gale. Yeah, look at her. <laughs> She's all tuckered out. <laughs> oh, we just run. Evan, are you That's just using her as a people. plot device? Yes. Now Ryan will be motivated to go save the world. <laughs> <laughs> or Evan, apparently. Level 4. If you'd read literally anything I'd written, you'd know that I use that trope constantly. <laughs> uh, yeah, level 4 is not enough. No, we are severely underleveled. We are severely underleveled. So I have a plan. Go into that forest? No, I'm gonna go Heal back up. to my- I'm gonna go back to my ship. Oh. Uh, after I revive everybody. Man, maybe I should roll around with Evan out, because I like the way it looks when I walk down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What uh, what game is, does Vivi appear in? Final nine. Fantasy IX. Ah, okay. Is he, like, as good of a character as it's people she, have said? right? She. Am I wrong about that? I've never played I, Final I Fantasy don't know. IX. So, sorry. I thought it was a... Um, <laughs> thought it was a he, because he, he or her... Is in, uh. I believe it's Kingdom actually Hearts. he or she. <laughs> <laughs> he or she. It is he. a he. It is a he, okay. Because yes. he is a Kingdom Hearts 2, where he is voiced. Oh, God. Uh, six months old. It's, he is six months old. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay. So I'm gonna go back to my ship. Whoop! But physically, he's nine years old. Wow. So let's ride this ship back to a place with more forgiving enemies. What if that ship could ride through the air? Like an airship? No, 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 no. Like an airplane. Oh. Yeah, that would be cool. Man, I wish JRPGs were better. <laughs> yeah. Vivi is voiced by a woman named Melissa Disney. No, great last name. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How the fuck could that be true? Because she's a distant relative of Walt Disney. Oh my god. Nepotism. <laughs> it's about ethics and... Never mind. <laughs> Melissa Disney. That's not a name. People just shouldn't be allowed to have Disney as a last name anymore. <laughs> uh, Melissa Disney has not done much in the way of voice acting lately. Nepotism. This is what I'm telling you. Are you kidding me? She was the 84th Academy Awards announcer. Oh, oh, wow. That was the year that... Seth MacFarlane? No, that was last year. No, Elton no was last that year. was the year before last year. This was the 87th, right? Yes. Was it? That was 2012. 2012? So, yes, Seth MacFarlane. No, because 2014 was Ellen DeGeneres, 2013 was Seth MacFarlane, 2012... Billy Crystal. Uh, Billy Crystal. Oh god, Billy Crystal hosted the Oscars that recently? It was yes. Billy Crystal, yes. America's Sweetheart. Yeah. That was You're the Artist one. Oh, right. Man, 
Best Picture winners, huh? What a ragtag group of movies. This takes forever. Oh, I take that back. She was in Lake Bell's In a World. Is that that voice acting movie? Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, I liked it. People liked it. She was in yeah. Top Cat the movie. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Is this enough Melissa Disney Yeah, I think, we're, I think we're fine here. Um, I'm just gonna... I just leveled up to level 5, you guys. Some pretty exciting stuff. I get the sense that this game actually isn't that long. Like, relatively uh, speaking. No, like, we can probably just beat this in under 20 hours. In terms of uh, Final Fantasies, yeah. it is a short one. Yeah, that's what I mean. This is JRPG History of Future Perfect, where we go into each game knowing that if we don't like it, it's possible we'll have to sit there for 40 fucking hours playing it. And that's, uh, that's very hard to do. Like Pandora's Tower, which did not take 40 hours, but certainly felt like it. In fact, I believe this is the shortest Final Fantasy game. That would follow. Now, I'm pretty sure 13 is shorter. 13 uh, was 50 hours. Oh my god. I did not get 50 hours into Final Fantasy 13. Tell you that much right now. Did you get to Pulse? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got to Pulse. Wait. Uh, that sounds familiar. It's definitely Pulse. a thing I've heard. No, Pulse is the city, whatever the planet was. Um, Pulse is the city on the moon. God, those games are so stupid, I don't remember. <laughs> um, outside of any, like, spin-offs like, Kurt, like, Theater Rhythm, mm -hmm. um, the uh, second shortest Final Fantasy game is Final Fantasy X2. Or Ten Two. It's not like Mortal Kombat. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Crisis Core is also, uh... Shorter than that. Oh, yeah. Apart from spin offs like Theaterism, this mainline entry, Crisis <laughs> Core. I would say that Crisis Core is as mainline as Final Fantasy X 2. That's bullshit. It has Final Fantasy VII in the title. Yeah, so does Dirge so? of Cerberus. <laughs> what, what's the distinction? One is a direct sequel to that game on it... a fucking major home console. Okay, well... The other is, like, a PSP action game offshoot. It's... yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I right. forgot it was an action game, actually. <laughs> I mean, I've never played it. I think it's an action game. Yeah, no, it is. Okay. I, I have played it. It is, it is one of the three Final Fantasies I've beaten. Oh, boy. Sorry, that, one of the two. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest and that. Man, we're gonna play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. We should do that soon. That is gonna be fucking fun. Yeah. <laughs> do you know about Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Ryan? Nope. Okay. Final Fantasy Mystic Quest was a game that came out on the Super Nintendo, and yep. it was designed to be, like, a gateway for people to get into Final Fantasy. The it's result, the easy Final the Fantasy. The result is literally Final Fantasy for babies. Yep. It is hilarious. I could just, like, tape down the A button and probably beat that game. I really? mean, if you consider Mystic Quest mainline, that's technically shorter than this. I don't consider Mystic Quest mainline. I All think right. numbered entries in the Final Fantasy series. Would be All right. Many series staples are eliminated, such as random battles, save points, manual equipment, and the party system. What the fuck is that game? It's hitting a lot of A in the menu. It hit people. <laughs> Fight them. Can you die? Uh, yeah, you can die. Yeah. I, I mean, there are ways you can lose in Mystic Quest. It's just very hard. What happens if you lose? Because there's no save points. Phoenix uh, down. I think there might just be checkpoint? I, I, there, you can save your game, certainly. It's on the Super Nintendo. It's not like you just have to play it in one sitting. <laughs> it might just be that it like automatically saves when you get to a new zone, as opposed to needing a save point. It probably would have been a good joke if you uh, started out this series with that game. Fuck. <laughs> well, we gotta scrap all these videos. <laughs> Don't 
forget Don't forget it. if you leave your game! <gasps> Hold reset while you turn power <laughs> off! <laughs> I just love, like, their desperation in putting that, like, in... Just in the lore of the game. Metal Gear Solid or something. Wish that were a JRPG. Yeah, it's close enough. Yeah, it's it's getting there. Three is is pretty close. <laughs> uh, I uh, I installed three on my Vita. I'm thinking about playing it. I want to play it again. It's uh, that game is probably like the most in terms of like stealth gameplay, the most sophisticated that series ever got. Cause, like, it's also like the best game in that series. <laughs> you say. You say that because it's like the first and only one you've played, right? I've played all I played all of them except for the first. Okay, but it is the first one you played, right? Yes. Okay. But I have gone back to it after beating the others. Okay. And still enjoy it. That's fine. More. Sometimes I can't tell when you say that if it means like <laughs> If it's like real or if it's like a Monster Hunter thing or it's like, I started playing Monster Hunter when I was a little boy, so I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> Which, trust me, is something, that's something you should stick with because it's the most charitable way to look at your obsession with Monster Hunter. <laughs> um, yeah, no, you're, you're right. In a lot of ways, 3 is sort of like the the melting point of weirdness with playability. Yeah. Because it has, like, the entire percentage system with the different yeah. camos and everything. It's just, there's a lot more, like, there are way more preventative measures you can take to, uh, in, in, in just the stealth system yeah. than there ever were in, uh, Metal Gear Solid 2, or even Metal Gear Solid 4, which is more of, like, your preventative measure is fucking shoot people with an assault rifle. Yeah. Uh, more so than three. Plus There's also that, that guy who makes a Tommy gun out of bees who that shoots bees. <laughs> and shoots bees, yeah. <laughs> pretty good. Turns out that's all pretty good. And it's a yeah. new person up front. This would appear to be Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> piece Looks of like shit. Him. Yeah. Kyle is a piece of shit. Oh, that doesn't cure poison? Oh god, that's the, fucked. The inn doesn't cure poison, huh? Well, yeah. All you're doing is sleeping. I mean, you don't get any medicine in an inn. Oh, okay, Clint. <laughs> Sorry, I thought that. Oh god, battles move so slowly. <laughs> Just Free turn up. <laughs> turn up the speed. Yeah. I wish I you, could. You can, you can do that on a Retron, right? Turn it up to 5,000%? Oh, on a Retron? Uh, yeah, oh. maybe. I wonder if this is recording right now. Let's see. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I have to keep Evan on his toes. Turn on a filter. Uh... Yeah, don't... scan lines, huh? No. Yeah. I mean, okay. sure, they look cool. Let's just get back to it. How about? Oh my god. What is the game where you can speed up battles? Or am I just thinking of just auto battle system? That's I, There are games where you can speed up. There's games where you can like set text speed and battle speed and stuff. Hmm. Um, uh, Bravely Default has like a fast forward function. I don't think mm. he's thinking of Bravely Default. No, I'm just saying like... I'm Let's just saying, I fucking love Bravely Default, okay? I was going to lead that into maybe there are some other Final Fantasy games that have the I'm pretty sure Final Fantasy VI, you can speed up the, how fast the action time battle thing fills. Pretty sure. Six wasn't active? Hmm, six was, yeah. It was? Yeah. I thought it was turn-based. No, it's active. Okay. There are, like meters, there are, like, active time battle meters that fill up, um, oh. that dictate when you do but, stuff. But a turn, like, you still have turns, though, right? Well, yeah, like you have monsters. turns, but that's not what, like, active time battle means in a JRPG sense. It just means that, like, the rate at which you go can be staggered based on... Like, it's not like Final Fantasy X. Like, like Final Fantasy X has a predictable... 
If if you move slow enough, I guess is what I'm saying in menus, the opposing I'm just have to stop playing to describe this. If you <laughs> if you don't select the stuff you want to select fast enough, the other the enemy can have multiple turns. Okay, I it's, thought that was seven. It's also I could seven. be wrong. It's also seven. Okay. They used the active time battle like uh, pretty rigorously. That was one of the main things they were sort of hell bent on uh, developing. And then uh, it reached its apex in Final Fantasy Thirteen. I do okay. need help. You liar. Okay. I looked at a screen and suddenly I realized exactly what you're talking about. Okay. Good. I'm sorry. It's hard to describe a weird system while also playing a game. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. I should probably get... Pure. <laughs> it's probably pure. Uh, it looks like, judging from the screenshot here, that the uh, iOS version of I uh, Final Fantasy VI does not do that. Hmm. The iOS version of Final Fantasy VI also looks like a fucking train wreck. Well, yeah. Looks like a train wreck. I don't know how it plays, but like the graphical update they did do it looks stupid. It's also $15. Yeah, that's kind of a lot. Well, actually, no, fuck that. That's not a lot. That game's long. That game has a lot of game in it. Yeah. Got the world of balance. World of world ruin. Ruin. I think it was Clint that I messaged when I was on vacation last summer. I was like, Final Fantasy VI just went on the iOS store and I'm really bored right now. And <laughs> so did, I told you not to, right? Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay, good. Whoever it was that I messaged told me don't do that. It looks like garbage. It does. I, I told that to somebody recently. I believe it was over the, the holiday break. Somebody said, hey, I've got some iTunes credit. Should I get uh, Final Fantasy VI on here? <laughs> I just said, no, no, no. Uh, do not do that. Yeah. If you if you don't want to play it on the, uh, on the SNES, get the PlayStation version. Fuck, I can't wait to play Final Fantasy VI on this show. That game is so good. It is. It's got that opera scene. Yeah. Basically, fucking modern indie games have been chasing the tail of for 20 goddamn years. <laughs> did you guys hear that Rob Schraub is going to be directing the Lego movie? The second Lego movie? I did hear that. Uh, Clint has an anti-Lego movie agenda, though. I, no, well, I, don't, I just don't like it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. I did. I, I, look, I, I just think it's harmful to society. That's all. <laughs> I, I, I want to see it. I just think it's a bad movie, and everything is awesome is a bad song. Okay. It's also I, a song I can, that. <laughs> I will agree with you on that point. <laughs> like, that. it's a it's a song that, in the context of the movie, means the exact opposite of why everybody likes it. Yeah, I've like, never heard it. Well, so is it the song that's bad, or just people? Both. Uh, Evan, j to just tell you, the lyrics of Everything is Awesome is Everything is Awesome, Everything is Cool, Everything is Fun when you're part of a team, or something like that. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, it's the Lonely yeah. Island, right? In... Yes. yes, it is. Okay, alright. Lonely well, uh, Island's that's... definitely involved. I think it's the Lonely Island and Tegan and Sarah are the people sure. involved yes. in Everything is Awesome. Um... But, uh, in, in the context of the story, they're in an oppressive society where they have no free will. Yeah. But isn't Which, it, but th doesn't that mean that, like, this is lame, here's, like... No, everybody's just like, everything's awesome! Of, of the... They're, so they're saying everything is awesome in this society in which we're all oppressed and have no free will. Because they don't realize that. Oh, okay. Because they're then, Lego men. And then oh, my cousin, shit. when he got married, walked out after, like, him and his new bride walked out to that song. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that, like, he walked, he walked out, out of the out wedding. Of the wedding. <laughs> <laughs> he pulled a straight up Xander when he heard that his wife liked that song. Oh, well, Xander's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, like... Like, I mean, but everybody loves the song because it's so peppy and fun, mm -hmm. but that's the exact opposite of, like, the feeling in the movie, hey, which don't is... Think that... about it. Hey, don't think about it. 
people are stupid. <laughs> in in conclusion, <laughs> the yes. point that I have reached is that people are stupid. Yeah. Ineffective. Sometimes swords just don't work against wolves. It's an old fantasy book that I read called Wizard's First Rule, and the first wizard rule was people are stupid. Is this like a book for eight-year-olds? No, 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 no. There was there was more to it than just people are stupid. <laughs> okay. That was the thing that he used to describe the rule in general. It's just like they'll they'll believe whatever they want to believe. Uh huh. So. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then Let's they see. then they made a TV show based on that book series, and it was awful. Oh no. It's called, it's called the Sword of Truth. It sounds pretty good. I thought it was uh the Wizards of Waverly Place. No. Is there a Sword of Lies? Oh no, it was called Seeker of Truth. He had a sword that was called the Sword of Truth. Whew. Yeah. There's a lot of There's a lot of experience. I bet if I went back to that book it wouldn't be good at all. Yeah, probably. That's the way most things go with stuff you liked. Yeah. Not like, not the royal you, I mean you specifically. There was a whole chapter of that book, if I remember correctly, where he gets captured by uh, a group of females that are basically just like super into BDSM. Mm -hmm. um, and they like hit him with these rods that inflict pain. The, the Legend of the Seeker is the name. Legend of the Seeker, thank you. The Legend yeah. of the Seeker. That's a good name for something. I believe it was from the same production company that did Xena and Hercules. Okay. Yeah. That should denote the level of quality yeah, that you... Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Xena Warrior Princess was amazing. <laughs> this is a new aspect to your character. <laughs> is, that, is, is that the hill you want to die on? Yeah, is this... <laughs> Have you guys seen that clip of, um... No. Oh. <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> Never seen a second of Xena Warrior Princess. I, I saw a few seconds of the ends of episodes before Charmed came on. There's an episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm where Larry David goes on a date with Lucy Lawless. Okay, I, I was going to say, have you seen that uh, clip from Hercules where Kevin Sorbo can't read a cue card correctly? No. And that he uh is supposed to act disappointed and it's obviously in parentheses on the cue card, but he looks up to the sky and shouts disappointed. <laughs> it's pretty great. It does sound pretty great. It's probably yes. not as great as his performance in God's Not Dead. Damn it, you damn it. God's you took it from dead. me. He's surely alive. He's li living, living on the inside, <laughs> roaring <laughs> like a lion. lion. It doesn't <laughs> Doesn't need to rhyme, Clint. No, because you, because God is speaking through you. Yep. Oh, the that Newtown is... Bulls? Was that what their name was? No, yep. that's the. Did you the hear news that they voice. came out? And we're like, yeah, we didn't really want to be a Christian band, so we're not going to be anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I was in the dentist the other day, and there was some. Uh, they were showing Christian God's music. Not Dead on the TV. <laughs> no, there was some Christian music playing while old episodes of Walker Texas Ranger were <laughs> on the television. Nice. <laughs> <sighs> I've, I've never seen Texas. a full episode of Walker, Texas Ranger. <laughs> You're fine, probably. Yeah. I don't know that you need to remedy that. Walker, Texas Ranger, um, was uh, filmed nearby. Here. <laughs> to me? Nearby me. Oh, okay. Yeah, Phew. me. I was worried that you meant near, the... nearest to Final Fantasy right now. Which would be, uh, uh -huh. you know... Petaluma, California. And the, uh, the, the ranch that was in Dallas, uh, that's l literally down the street from where I live. Wow. Yeah. That's, uh, that must be pretty crazy for you, huh? Not really. Because you no. love Walker, Texas Ranger? And Dallas? Dallas was a TV show. Yeah, I know what Dallas was. It came back. Yeah, it did. People were way into it. Yeah, just like 90210's reboot. Whenever I think of Walker, Texas Ranger, I just think of that joke about Walker, Texas Ranger in that episode of Buffy. The episode of Buffy where 
Xander hangs out with the zombies. <laughs> <laughs> and the first thing the zombie asks his friend when he comes back is, did you record Walker, Texas Ranger? And he says, every <laughs> app. <laughs> I guess it's always open for crime. Yeah. That's a good episode. People should, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer is a good show, as it, as it turns out. Yeah, we should finish that sometime. Yeah, seems like... Speaking as somebody who has watched it, like, two times through in the last couple months. It's pretty good. Speaking of somebody who, as somebody who's, like, eight episodes out of finishing oh, shit. the show. It's the Smarch. <laughs> <laughs> Go into it. Uh, some Grimps. Grimps and Warwolves. Well, I'm gonna kill the Warwolf first. Oh, that's actually a pretty good limited use of text to describe a werewolf. <laughs> a werewolf? A werewolf. <laughs> Doesn't really make as much intuitive sense until you try to say it out loud. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, werewolf. <laughs> 86 damage. Critical hit. Saying that I'm terminating these guys is kind of a harsh way of putting it. <laughs> Terminated the werewolf. Yes, everybody take your pot shots at the werewolf who is dead. Werewolf. The werewolf. Grimp is pretty good. I might be <laughs> crazy about this, but I feel like in some re-release of this game, there was like a vampire enemy in it named Buffy. I will find out. <laughs> Just type in, like, Buffy, Final Fantasy, uh, Vampire. It was this game or some other game. I remember being very confused by it, because okay. it's like, Buffy's okay. you want to know? You want to know, uh, Evan, how about you take a guess at what the first Google result is if you type in Buffy, Final Fantasy? Um, it would be... Uh, it's sadder than you're thinking. P uh, porn. Not okay. that sad. Maybe about as sad as fanfiction. Oh, man. Yeah. Which Final Fantasy? Seven. Seven. Oh, man. That's the best one for that. <laughs> Willow um, and Eris gonna hear... hang out like, like straight. Like, like awesome. That's gonna be great. Oh, my God. I'm gonna Do you go want to hear that. the what? plot to Materia Knight and his girls? <laughs> well, first I... <laughs> I'm, I'm looking it up. Let him do For, that. Okay. First I'd like to actually get an answer to my question, but then... <laughs> sure. What was your question? <laughs> Is it porn? No. No. <laughs> Clint's on it. You don't have to worry about it. You don't oh, have to the worry like, actual Buffy Final Fantasy it. thing? You don't have to worry your pretty little head about it, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Can't believe I made it to the smarch. <laughs> Go oh, ahead and shit. the description. This oh, is, sorry, okay. This is not... <laughs> probably should not be trying to do this right now, but... Um, Xander finds Cloud's materia chest with a note from Aerith, changing his life forever. Yeah, it's good to know these people decided to go with Aerith instead of Aerith. It tells me a lot about them. Continue. I mean, that's just... I can start reading it if you want me Continue to. Continue unabated. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know how many fucking hours of JRPGs we have to play before the end of this show, Ryan? Do you want me to read the full disclaimers and everything, or no? Yes. Okay, disclaimer. I do not own Final Fantasy. That honor belongs to Squaresoft. And Square I do Prada. not own... Okay, guys, hold on. <laughs> Let me just break this down for a second. I am not Hironobu Sakaguchi. I know you think I might be. I'm not. I'm just a de dedicated Buffy fan. Okay. Also, Squaresoft doesn't exist anymore. Um... This was published August 13th, 2012. Yeah, okay, so they have no excuse. I was going to say, like, <laughs> oh, maybe this was published back when Squaresoft did exist. Nope. Um, that on honor belongs to Squaresoft and Square Product Development Division 1. <laughs> I make no money from this, and I only own the plot of this story and any OCs that pop up. I don't think you actually do own the you plot don't. of this story, <laughs> nope. bro. I'm sorry to be... A buzzkill, but... He, uh, misspelled title as Tittle. 
That's, <laughs> oh, that was he, he not that was not an accident. <laughs> uh, Materia Knight and his girls. Summary. Okay, I already read the summary. <clears throat> as far as I can find, Evan, uh, there is just a vampire lord named Vampire Lord and a vampire named Vampire. That's so weird. I swear, maybe it's Buffy IE. Try Buffy with an IE at the end. Um, this story like is not based on the comic plot lines for season eight. It is post chosen, and I like the ideas of houses of slayers around the world. But this is where I make an. Oh, hang on! Uh, wait, 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 wait! We can't read this. You haven't finished the show yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be uh, chock full of spoilers. Can I? Can I at least read the first line? Yes. Xander awoke from his dream, fighting a ten-foot-tall demon made of twinkles, and reached out with one hand to find his eye patch when he rubbed his eye, when he rubbed his other eye, and yawned. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, moving on. So this just doesn't exist. So I'm just crazy. I feel I feel like I know what you're talking about, but uh, I can't find anything by googling any version of Buffy in Final Fantasy. I could have oh. sworn. Okay, Maybe wait. Maybe do an image search for it. That's what I did. You're I need to read the, dis the summary of Dawn of a New Fantasy. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. No, you don't. You don't at all. <laughs> well, I assumed it was going to involve Dawn and Final Fantasy. It does Fantasy. not. Okay. <laughs> Someone dressed as Sephiroth during the infamous Buffy Halloween, and now the world's in for some nasty surprises. Oh Xander's my been... god, so this is a fanfiction that takes place within the season 2 Halloween episode. Wait, it's not done yet. Oh Xander's been saddled with cleaning up the mess, but who's keeping the score anyway? Final what? Fantasy VII crossover. <laughs> That's a nonsensical... Okay. Man, I should start just writing Buffy Final Fantasy fanfiction. I should just start writing fan- trying to find two properties that are the least matched with each other. Try to write fanfiction about them. I can see what else Buffy is crossed over with. No, just stick with Final Fantasy. See what else- I mean, we gotta stay on message. There's, okay. uh, there's a, uh, Buffy Easter egg in Max Payne. <laughs> There is there is one story for Final Fantasy VII X Father of the Bride. Okay, uh, what's the Easter egg? Um, you you go out on a ledge, you break down a uh, a wall that or like a like a wooden panel that's covering a broken window, and inside there is somebody with a stake in their back, uh, and they have scrawled in blood, uh, buff. Uh, Okay. As if they were trying to spell out Buffy. Oh, oh, oh! Okay. But it's very clearly a wooden stake in their back. Well then. Which wouldn't occur because, as we all know, vampires yeah, burst into, 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 dust. into dust. Well, maybe it was like a faith situation. She accidentally killed a person. Mm. With a stake. There was a Final Fantasy VII Galarian's crossover. What? <laughs> That'd be the thing. Oh, man. Cloud hated Thursdays, and if you ask, he'd gladly tell you why. <laughs> that is a perfect beginning to a story. But no one dared, not when he'd been standing in that lone corner of 7th Heaven staring you down, as if daring, daring you to pick a fight. Sadly, he he's soon to hate Thursdays even more as a mysterious miniature version of himself followed by eerie creatures winds up in his care. I think the internet is what ruined Final Fantasy 7. <laughs> yep. I think that's the problem here. Like... Evan, no, I can restore it for you right now. Uh-huh. Sephiroth discovers Pooh Honey is actually Mako. An epic battle ensues. <laughs> Man, that is a good Venn diagram of my interests. I'll give it that. That is a that is a solid uh, OK Cupid match <laughs> for Evan Tognati. It's only 774 words. I can read it for you if you want. Yeah, that is pretty few words. Okay, <laughs> Evan. Wait, before you start that, Evan, when was Buffy biggest? Biggest? Like, most culturally impactful. 
Uh, I don't know, probably like early 2000s, I'd bet. Okay. Late 90s? I mean, that's when it was on, but in terms of cultural impact, it's kind of hard to say. I have to read the disclaimer on this one, too, for a very specific yeah. reason. Disclaimer. Explicit sexual content. <laughs> Disclaimer, I do I do not own any of the locales or characters mentioned here. I did make up cute jutsu, however. I'm rather proud of myself for that one. You actually can be so cute it literally hurts. Yeah, good for you. Oh boy. The real word count is 609. He just does some preamble about how this spun off from some Kingdom Hearts fanfic. Oh boy. <laughs> well, I guess that would make sense. It was because he was going through some writer's block lately. <laughs> how do I get my juices flowing? Hey guys, how much do you oh. want to bet? <laughs> how much do you want bet I won't be able to make it back to town before I die? Uh, well, uh, all I would just like to point out that this uh, preamble sentence ends with, Anyway, a friend of mine told me to write about Pooh and Sephiroth having an epic battle, and suddenly my creative juices were flowing. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. So I nailed it, in other words. Did we, did we ever read my super embarrassing... Yes. Uh, Your Harry Potter fanfic? Yeah. Yeah, we totally yeah. did, did that. Did we, did we finish it? I think we finished it on the podcast. I think we took that... If we didn't finish it, we took that joke as far as we could go with it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either we finished it or we were like, this is too It just funny. got sad. It, got, is, yeah. it was no longer funny. All right. Should I, should I read on? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it while I collapse on the way back to town. Okay. Sephiroth and Winnie the Pooh stared at each other for what appeared to be an eternity to the onlookers. <laughs> onlookers? <laughs> Pooh's honey had only recently been discovered to actually be an advanced form of Mako energy. Mako, and once, I believe, Mako. is what it would be. And once Sephiroth caught wind, he embarked on a trail of slaughter and death until he was on Pooh's doorstep. Jesus. Pooh refused to give up his Mako so easily and challenged Sephiroth to a duel. So the two warriors stared on, searching the, their opponent's eyes for some hint of fear or uncertainty. Sephiroth was armed with the iconic sword while Pooh was preparing to fight with the art of cute jitsu. This martial art could only be mastered by the cutest of creatures. Although the true workings of its usage could only be understood by its masters, it is widely believed that cute jitsu fo users focus their cuteness energy into various energy attacks. What is known for sure is that during battle the cute jitsu user produces and utilizes small units of solid energy. <laughs> so it sounds it's like a lot of, gonna sh It's a lot of words in this story you just wasted on explaining <laughs> cute jitsu. Yeah. We are like a third of the way through the story with cute jitsu. Oh, Alright, the battle's beginning guys. Pay okay. Attention. I believe it. Sephiroth struck first. He was incredibly fast, but Pooh's reflexes were fast as well. A small barrier of cute jitsu energy stopped Sephiroth's sword a mere foot away from Pooh's body. Pooh instantly counterattacked by jettisoning a cute jitsu ball at Sephiroth. Sephiroth. Ugh. Sephiroth managed to deflect the ball where it, it cha where its changed trajectory brought into into direct contact. Are you with okay? <laughs> Uh, brought into direct contact with Piglet's faith. face. Sorry. Jesus. <laughs> I am having a stroke as I read this. Piglet's head then imploded, leading to a very unpleasant corpse, some ah. vomiting, and Eeyore being covered in blood and brain matter. God! <laughs> That's not cool. That, the is two not, warrior... th that is not on brand. <laughs> the two warrior took no, no notice of the casualty, however. Um... How many words are left in this <laughs> We're like halfway through. Okay, well, speed it up. The battle raged on as Sephiroth continued to of deal blows with his sword, and Pooh continued to fight with the pure energy of his cuteness. For hours, the battle continued. The two warriors matched blow for blow, with only the occasional strike managing to breach the other's defenses. The two warriors found themselves on opposite ends of the field once again. The difference was that now they were much more tired, and the field was soaked in blood. Only a fraction of this blood belonged to the fighters. Over the course of the battle, all but Eeyore and Rabbit had been annihilated by poorly aimed or deflected attacks. Some of the deaths were so graphic they cannot be described here. I will only say that the trace 
I will say that the only trace of Tigger ever located was his tail, and it was located roughly two miles from where he was standing upon his death. So the warriors stared on across <laughs> across a bloodstained field. Pooh had several deep cuts on his face from Sephiroth's sword, which were bleeding, stuffing fe- freely. A sphere of cute who had managed it to hit Sephiroth's right and therefore unused arm during the battle. All that remained was a twisted, bleeding stump, which which occasionally twitched. It was at this point when the fighters revealed their true power. Pooh dropped into a cute jitsu stance that was previously undocumented. As he did so, his pots of honey mako began to glow and orbit around his body, his body as if drawn to him by an invisible force. It was only then that Sephiroth realized what he was doing. Pooh was casting honey, a close variant of the Cetra spell holy. I don't um, Sephiroth had no time to react. Oh, okay. quickly enveloped him. No one exactly knew what the spell did to him. Sephiroth was surrounded by a blinding white light while the spell's effect were taking hold. Afterwards, all that was left was some blood, a few long silvery strands of hair, and what appeared to be a toenail. As far as the onlookers could tell, Sephiroth was no more. Pooh knew better than to make assumptions, however. What is that? Uh, That's it. That's it. You know what would be really funny? What's is that? if tomorrow after this airs we got like papers served from the guy who wrote this <laughs> I own this story <laughs> you can't uh, so so Evan mm-hmm. uh, in my frantic search uh, the only thing that I could come up with was one a character in Final Fantasy 14 named Buffy the Slayer mm-hmm. uh, that's just a player character and two a Game Facts uh, message board for Final Fantasy 13 with the title of Oh my god, Lightning and Sarah are like Buffy and Dawn. Don't you agree? Wow. Ah! The English version of Secret of Mana, which appeared shortly after the original movie came out, contains a boss named Buffy the Vampire. Okay. Well, definitely what I was thinking of. I'm not going to read anything from it. I'd just like you to know no, that there's also a Fantasy Seven Persona crossover. I'm sure there is. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for joining us. For the past five minutes, Evan has been completely still. Yep. I, know. I mean, I, I saved at the end. I don't want to do anything else. Here we are. <laughs> mm-hmm. JRPG Historia Future Perfect deactivate. Ba-da-boom, ba-da-boom. Ba-da-boom. Bada 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 boom. Okay, speed it up. I'm done. <laughs>